<laughs> All right, so we're just getting into the video today. No intro, no funny intro. Manny said to stop with those intros because they're not that funny. What? What the fuck? He's like shaking his head like, you always use me for something. I'm not doing anything back here. It's, it's true, he doesn't do anything. I just pretend that he does something. <laughs> anyway, we're getting right into the video. We're gonna talk about something that everybody's been talking about, everybody's been raving about. It's been all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook. It's been everywhere, okay? We've talked about it everywhere, um, and it's AMC, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I think about AMC, where I think it's gonna go, do I think you should keep investing in it, do I think you should take out your money, and how far is the moon? How far is the moon? But before we get into it, all I ask is you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe and hit that button, watch, something cool is really gonna happen, okay? So hit that button in three, three, two, one. Spaceship from the subscribe button. Look what happens when you click the subscribe button, something cool, always magical here in the studio of Mikasa. So as you all know, AMC has been getting a lot of traction on the internet. It's been talked about because of its short squeeze. It's been on Wall Street bets. It's been on, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G kind of, you know, uh, stock watch list and whatever. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to give my opinion about AMC. So believe it or not, guys, believe it or not, AMC is actually not one of the uh, biggest Reddit stocks kind of on the Wall Street bets that they're talking about. Um, if you actually go into uh, Reddit, and honestly, I don't follow anything that the Wall Street bet kind of Reddit guys talk about because um, I don't believe in anything that they say. But anyway, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, guaranteed. But anyway, um, but what I do is I just kind of go in. And if you look through it, actually, you know, GME, Diamond Hand, Space, Moon, the GME is like their baby, right? AMC is not really talked about, not too too much. So um, the fact that AMC has been going through the short squeeze um, in the last cup in the last month, I mean, like the projection has gone from you know nineteen dollars a share was the last time that I like plotted AMC all the way up to a high of like seventy two dollars or something like that, kind of give or give or take in that range. So that's a disgusting increase. Okay. So now I want to talk about is you know what will happen to AMC? Will the short squeeze continue? Will it hit the moon? What is the moon and all of that? So I want to just bring your attention to something that happened in history. Okay. So we're gonna pull up the charts of AMC right right now, right there. And I just want to show you guys, so AMC uh, filming this video is currently trading at about $60. And there is a huge, huge resistance point for AMC. It cannot break above that $60 range. And there is huge selling pressure. You may ask, where is the selling pressure come from? Let me explain via a little cartoon. I'm kidding, we're not doing cartoons. But listen, so this is what happens. The hedge funds have a lot of positions set at $60 because they don't want the uh, the um, you know the price of AMC to go higher than $60. What will happen if it goes over $60? Hmm, I wonder. It would be interesting to think about. Did this ever happen in history before? GME? GME short squeeze when they couldn't uh, cover the short position, so they ended up having to buy them all back and it pushed the price even higher? Hey, all I'm saying is this. I never believe in these hype stocks. You know, I made a quite a bit of money on GME. I didn't make any money because I never invested in AMC. Look at like a pretty cool storm, um, you know, brewing with the AMC. So what's technically happening is this. If we pull up, um, you know, this right here, um, this is what you'll see is actually the short interest on AMC. And as you can see in the first quarter of AMC and as of May 28th, there is a $2.67 billion short interest on AMC, which means hedge funds, people with a lot of money and a lot of power are putting money into AMC stock, trying to short it and bring the price down and for it not to go above $60 um, a share. There's a reason for that because most of the contracts these people use expire and they're paying premiums on this on the contracts for every single uh, month that it kind of the contract is extended or that the price moves up. So these people are losing money by the day. Hedge funds are losing money by the day. And before any of you start going freedom fighter and being like, yeah, we're going to stick it to the man. We're going to really show them how it's done. You know, we're going to make them lose billions of dollars. Your couple thousand dollars, couple hundred dollars, maybe five hundred dollar investment is not gonna stick it to these billionaires that control the hedge funds, okay? All I'm saying is that it's a really cool storm happening. We see that the hedge funds are, are freaking out a little bit. A lot of news houses are saying, take your money, sell your position, you know, uh, take your profit while you can. I think they're doing that to, to fear monger and basically scare people away from AMC um, so that the short squeeze does not happen and these hedge funds don't lose billions of dollars. Now, I am not giving financial advice and telling you to go pour all of your money into AMC. That is not what I'm doing. All I'm saying is that it's really interesting and really cool to know that history may repeat itself and we may actually see that if price can break above 62 to $65 range, we may see hedge funds needing to actually buy back their positions, forcing the price of AMC to go even higher. And who knows, maybe land on the moon. 
So all I say is that you guys, for this information, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. It's not the end of the video just yet, but all I'm saying is that do your own due diligence, understand you know, what's happening with AMC. I actually don't have a price projection for AMC just because realistically with all of the variables that are going on you know the short the um, kind of the short sentiment that's happening uh, how much the hedge funds actually have on top of it um, how worried they are about it breaking above a certain price point and that it physically cannot break over a, a price point there are just too many variables for me to fully predict what's going to happen all i'm going to say if you're trying to play it safe and if you have profits set as trailing stop loss make sure you have your capital protected so at least you don't lose the money you initially invested if you know something similar like gme happens where it just kind of crashes and later on continues up but you don't want to lose money on the way down all i ask for this information is you like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more videos we're going to talk about all things crypto all things wall street bets all things baking thanks guys for another video stay tuned remember every tuesday and thursday big news coming in in the next couple of videos so please stay tuned if you like what we're doing if you you know like me if you like manny if even if you don't like us who cares just listen something cool is coming up that will actually benefit everybody so stay tuned for more peace